I, I heard a tree fall. Did you hear it? Oh, sorry. You asked me something, didn't you? Okay. My name is... Stay on topic now, Simon. Stay on topic. My name is Simon Cibou. And well, let's see. The thing I'll miss most about Monsieur Fizami, Bernard, is his bon souris. Yes, definitely his smile. You see, Bernard had the kind of smile that would disarm you. I know it certainly did me when I interviewed with him at Comselaiti in the year 2000. Comine, comine, he beckoned in an accent all too familiar to me. And that smile lighted up the room like a glistening moon. When I stepped forward that day, I felt as if I was transported back to the beautiful coast of my island, our island, the island that our common ancestors shared so long ago, on whose beach I often stood looking out at the horizon while waves slapped and the tide tugged at my feet. And as I waded into his office, that day would seem like a shroud of apprehension and anxiety suddenly gave way and fell to the floor just as it had years ago on that shore. This is something only a kind and wise man like Monsieur Bernard Fizamin can do. Make you feel you can walk on water. He was the CEO then. Chief Executive Officer. Not bad for someone who immigrated here from one of those so-called shithole countries, eh? He started Comselaiti so his people, my people, our people, the Haitian people can have access to cell phones. I was able to talk to my mother every week because of Monsieur Fizami. I always wanted to work for a company that did such good things for people, you know? Did I love him? No, not in that way. I was not his girlfriend or anything like that. Just a secretary at Comsel. Besides... He had a wife. For 40 years they were married. I am not that kind of woman who would break up a family, though plenty of other women would have. He was so good looking. Focus Simone. Him and his wife, they were a team. One day he told me they met when they were student activists for immigrant rights in New York. And after they got married, they moved to Miami to continue to fight for Haitian rights there. I also heard her family didn't want her to marry him and stay focus, Simone. There is all types of love, you know. I'm just grateful to God for him. He didn't remember me at our first meeting at Comsel, though we had met some years before. You see, when I fled Haiti and came to this country in 1984, I ended up a detained refugee in Miami. I do know about cages. Focus, Simone. But Monsieur Fizami and the Haitian Refugee Center he and his wife started helped me win my case and remain here in this country. From that time, I guess, my future was entwined with his. What? Well, I came to the support group today because I'm angry. Every time I see someone without a mask, I blame that person for Bernard's death. The other day, I ran up to a man and yelled at him, saying, You're the reason Bernard is gone. My tante says I should not do that, because someone might shoot me and that I need help. So I promised her I would come to this session. But I don't need help, really. You see, I made this. Every night, I stick pins in it. <laughs> My boyfriend says this is not good, that God will punish me. But I say, why should God punish me? I'm just trying to help the people. 
like Monsieur Fizami helped the people. Like he helped me?